The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. Hey, what up, YouTube fam? It's Dupree, aka Darth Hater, here with some fresh, brand new Star Wars news for you. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out my last video because it greatly helps out the channel. So let's get into it. Some more very, very big news coming from the Disney investors call. Donald Glover gives exciting update on the Star Wars Lando movie promising a singular vision. Donald Glover shared an exciting update about the Star Wars upcoming Lando Calrissian movie when the project was first announced in December 2020. It was to be a television series developed by Dear White People created Justin Simeon. In 2023, Simeon ex exited the project. Glover and his brother, Stephen Glover, were brought on as writers and showrunners, along with Glover reprising his role as the young Lando that he first played in Solo, A Star Wars Story. The project was later confirmed to be a film instead of a TV series. While speaking with The Hollywood Reporter, Glover provided a promising update about his central involvement in developing and eventually starring in the Lando film. He said, I feel like I have control and control allows for our vision to be singular. And if the vision is singular, people want more. The less it's singular, the less people want it because they feel like they could have made it. Despite the often constricting demands of the entertainment industry, especially when of developing a project for a massive franchise, Glover is making the project his own. Glover's confidence in a singular vision is a promising sign for the Lando movie, suggesting that he has a significant creative control over the project. His performance as Lando was one of the most praised elements in Solo. Along with his acting talent, Glover is no stranger to creating and directing a compelling original story, as he did with the award-winning television series Atlanta. This makes Glover the perfect individual to lead the development and play the starring role in the Lando film. Many of Star Wars' best projects in recent years gave its showrunners and writers significant amount of creative control, including Tony Gilroy developing his singular vision for the critically acclaimed Andor, now widely considered Star Wars' best show. As someone who has already played Lando and who understands the character well, Glover's creative control can allow him to develop a story that does Lando justice. Being well versed in the challenges of the entertainment industry can also help Glover avoid the traditional pitfalls of Hollywood and be part of one of the world's largest franchises. Glover's involvement in Solo means that he may be more invested in following up on that story since Solo 2 is unlikely to ever happen. Lando can follow up on some of the unresolved threads from the film, particularly where Lando's relationship with young Han Solo is concerned. Originally, Lando actor Billy Dee Williams will hopefully be incorporated into the film as well. Whatever the film ends up being, it will be largely determined by Glover's ability to make Lando be truly unique and creative experience. Wow. Now, this is some very, very good news. As a big fan of the Lando Calrissian character, Donald's portrayal of him in Solo was, like they said, the best thing. And his knowledge of the character and actually going back to Billy D. Williams to talk to, ask him on how to play the character served very well. I do believe this story is going to take place right after Solo since, like they said, Solo 2 is not likely going to happen. This is going to be like kind of like a successor. Han Solo was a great character, but I don't believe he just uh, he deserved two movies. A Lando movie could be part two of that and see where these characters go. With a Lando movie, you're going to want to see Han Solo and Chewie, and you're also going to want to see the Millennium Falcon back again. So it would be hard to do that without any of those. We already lost L3, his co-pilot in Solo Star Wars story, so I'm interested to see like who he comes up with next as a sidekick. In the Lando comments, it's Lobot before he gets lobotomized basically with the headgear that he's wearing in Empire Strikes Back. He's more of a friend to Lando. He has more of a personality and they're kind of just running and gunning around the galaxy pulling jobs. With this story, it could pick up with part two and incorporating Billy D. Williams would be the best thing. As I said in a live stream before, Billy D. Williams is in his 80s. He's one of the last original actors from the original trilogy still, you know, going strong. So it's best to utilize him while they can. And it would serve the story if it was an older Lando 
talking about his exploits as a young Lando and doing time jumps from going back and forth like that. But yeah, I'm very excited for this project and I look forward to hearing any new news. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you excited about the fact that Donald Glover and his brother are basically taking creative control over this project? Let me know what you guys expect from this. Do you think this is going to be a successor to Solo? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to your channel, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell to get notifications for all my latest videos. That would be great. Anyway, guys, take care. See you in the next one. May the force be with you. Bye.